Just look. <gasps> that was a mistake. What's up, guys? The Miko Pika here, and today we are playing Bone Tail because whoa, we update 1.6. I sound like Papyrus. Um, so there's a lot of stuff. We can make our own characters now, and Asgore is in the game, and also there's a easy mode, and I'm basically just gonna walk you through, guys, the the this, the idea of Sans. But before that. I'm going to turn on smooth camera this uh, I checked that box because it makes it easier to see where frisk is so we're gonna do so I'm just gonna walk you through for every level basically and stuff and you'll just see like what happens that's usually how I do that level up but I can do it better than that. It's just I did a bit sloppy there. It's going online a lot. And usually when I do that, I get the online and Snowden Forest for some reason. Maybe you get that too when you first complete this level. I don't know why I get it. I just get it. Anyway, now we can level up when we do level 1 and we'll do level 2 now. And it's basically exactly the same. It's just it's a bit faster. See, that's how I usually do it. That was a better technique, but Frisk should have been deaded there. But they didn't die, so. And we got that map unlocked. It's just no name for some reason. But it makes sense because it's literally devoid, basically. It's the barrier. That's what it is. It's the barrier. And now we go to level 3. The expression. It's that simple. <laughs> you just push them back into the bones after all the bones have went through, and then you win. <laughs> but yet again, this is the easy level, so hopefully you don't need help on these levels. But when I first did start playing this, I did struggle because I did used to play this, but then I forgot how to play it. So I was kind of bad when I first started. But when you get the gist of it, you get the gist of it. Now this is where things start to change. This is where they start to dodge but don't worry it's not that hard to see I don't know where they are there they are it's not that hard when they start dodging but later strats like when we get the hard is when I start using the I guess pro strats I don't know is when you start to use specific strats also known as blue bone spam <laughs> but we'll get back to that later like when I when I when I first started this, playing this game again after like two years, I completely forgot how to turn on bad time mode. Hey, die! Thank you. Um. So yeah, that's just medium level one. I have to do it twice so I can unlock the next temple. Because it actually gets progressively higher. And for Demotic, I might turn it to easy difficulty because medium difficulty, I get to the last phase and then it gets a bit chaotic. So, this is roughly the same idea. It's just they dodge. I didn't want to do that. Where you can also use normal bones, but when you go into the hard levels, do not use regular bones. It's fine if you run out of power because you actually regain that a lot of power really quickly, especially when you have this many bones going across the screen. And that's them dead. That's when you start to use bone strats in medium level one, two, and three. But when you get to hard levels, stop using the regular bones. 
because in the hard levels, they, um, Frisk starts turning into the different versions of Kara, and, um, yeah, it's an all fun time to use Regalons because they can just slash them down. You could do this, some shenanigans. Oops, that's the wrong way. I don't even have to finish off with the gas bus now. See how I mean? The blue mods are just... I don't know why they're so good. Oh, now we can unlock medium level 3. Basically the same thing, it's just... You can't use the normal modes to start off. Usually my opening is push back, big, teleport away, and then start using blue bones. That's the thing, don't use them too fast because you're one out of them. Gotta be patient a little bit. I didn't mean to do that bone or that one. God damn it. They're almost dead. But like Usually they finish it off if they're at very low HP and it's a billion bones. I just use the push tool in any direction, really. Should do the job. Now we gotta do that again so we can unlock hard mode. And hard mode is where I change some stuff up. Like a little bit, I guess. Because after, after hard level 1, it, it kind of gets easier if you think about it. And you'll see what I mean. Even when the bombs are this little, they still last for so long. I forgot what HP they were at. I could have just held the blue soul. They would have died. So now we get onto the hard levels, I think. I might unlock Carrot Asgore. I don't know why. I just did. And also, I will make a tutorial on Frisk. I can't make a throne papyrus because I've tried to unlock him before. <laughs> it's just impossible to unlock for some reason. Anyway, hard level one. This is where I change it a little bit. When I mean a little bit, I mean literally a little bit. Pretty much the same, but some minor tweaks. Such as...
need to be careful now so they don't turn into Korra too soon. That's the perfect time. We want you want to get us back as far as possible before they turn into Kara. Now you just like as soon as you see them in your peripheral vision, send them back. And it's not that hard. You just gotta learn how. Because if you use white bones, she'll just use the slash attack and knock them all away. It's not really good. Whilst the blue bones, they can't knock away for some reason. And they won't knock away, they will just stand still. Unless they are at phase 2 or phase 3 of Kara, then they'll start teleporting through the bones. I didn't know before I watched the video. Um, so we'll have to do that again. But that's fine. to make sure they're at the very back. So, first you need... Before they turn into Korra, was around low health. Make sure they're at the back. Use some giant gaster blaster again to Korra. And then just, I guess just... Put yellow, I mean, <laughs> yellow, blue bones down. As soon as you see the camera drift, just shift back and go to normal time. And that simple. Is there that low HP then you use a giant ga gas blaster? Because they'll die. You can also use the blue soul if you're like. Is there like. I don't know. Why you use the blue soul? Because they can break out of it. But if you're lucky, they might not break out of it straight away. <laughs> and you can use this technique where you use the blue soul and also pushing back at the same time. And instead of doing hard level 1 again, I'm doing me in level 2 so we can get the right amount of XP. So we can go back to normal bones. And this will be a lot easier, less stressful, I guess. That par that parade I just- I don't parade. Um, that barrage of bones I sent out a long time ago, was chilling on the wall, I knocked him back into it, and now I get the abandoned corridor, let's go. Yeah, so if you kill in a bunch, in like a row, in like, I don't know how, how many times in a row, but if you kill several times in a row as Sans or someone, then you uh, get that abandoned corridor. Now level two, it's, it's a bit different. Instead of using a big gas blaster here, you just set up blue bones, Thing. Be careful and not don't damage them too much. Get a solid blue boned force before you like go ham. Because then, if you have enough then you'll barely see Frisk and that's good. See, you hear that noise? That, that means they're teleporting through the bones. Uh-oh. That was a close one. You should 
really throw these bombs this way, but... Uh-oh, I'm low power. Eh, big acid blast should do it. <gasps> Uh-oh. Okay, that's fine. We can just throw them back. Alright, that was a bit close. And now this is where... Well, after I get... So, I'll... You know, I'll just show you again. I'm not gonna cut anything out. Well, maybe I will. Probably for demonic, I'll probably cut to like the part where I like actually do it because it's it's pretty hard on medium difficulty. I wonder if they had a hard difficulty. If they are, that's gonna suck so bass. So bass. There's this blank spot of where I need to put blue bones at. Right there. Get all the way to the back. See, they break free. Feel like they're getting really close. No, they're... Oh, they're dizzy. They're straight at the back? Wait, what? They're at the back. They're just dying over there or something. Oh no, what's happening to them? So yeah, that's, that's a good thing. <laughs> they just get stuck to the back sometimes. It was really nice. Or maybe I was just lucky. I don't know why they got stuck to the back. Now I'm going to do our level 1. Because I don't know if it's actually easier, but it probably is because they only have one healing thing. Okay, I'm going to be careful now because their HP is a bit low. We use that. It's in the back. But they're at the very back. We can... They're dying over there. Actually, pretty close. I'm gonna send them back immediately. Oh, they're at the very back. Nope. There we go. So, now we get to our level 3. The start is a bit tricky. When you get it down, you get it down. I might die at the start a couple times, guys. But you'll just see my errors. Hopefully you can fix them. Because <laughs> I even make some errors here. I, for some reason, it didn't let me teleport, so, again, a little bit of an error there. We need a map. Jesus. See, it's, it's, it's tricky. But when you get it down, you get it down. At the very back somewhere. They're at the back still. They're actually dying over there or something.
They're murdering themselves right now. Where are they right now? That's the thing, when they get close to end of health, they do like permanently stay like the version 3 of Kara, I think. I'm tired. So they will turn to phase three in a minute, but that's okay. Just, we'll just. They're at the very back. We're fine. They're gonna murder themselves. So yeah, yeah. Phase three car is very, I guess, careless and tries to get you as fast as possible. Will, will help hurt themselves a lot on the blue bones. And now it will close down the application. So I'll just. I'll just cut to when, um, you know, I load up the game again. So, see you guys in like, I don't know, right now. Here we are. Want to play. I actually don't remember if I've ever done this on medium difficulty. But. Let, let's see if I can do on medium difficulty. Because I really don't remember. If I've done this on medium difficulty or not. I really don't remember. You can hold control to do like ammo, but you shouldn't do that. Watch that bone go murder that human over there. So, best idea, bone blue bones spam. But every time they refuse, your blue bones are reset. That's the hard thing about this. Because the blue bones take forever to recharge, you know? Okay, they're at the back, so we can start doing this again. You always want to make blue, big blue bones as well, as much as you can. Because, plus, it makes it so you can get even more down because of cooldown. And... They last longer, so. Just do a big gas blast if they're high HP. And when they get to low HP, they will probably murder themselves, so. Just make sure they're at the back before you do a big gas blast if you want to murder them. Usually, see, I told you, they just kill themselves. If they're and now they're close to the back. Always keep pushing back as well, because they're fast. As soon as you see them, push them back. If a blade's coming to you, you just gotta, like, uh, go up. <gasps> I'm low HP. I mean, power. They kind of get lost after you put too many bones down. See, they're at the back. So, like, they don't really know what to do. Now, this is where it gets, like, <laughs> hard. And when I mean hard, I mean it hard. See? You just... So yeah, I'm gonna go to the demonic phase again, and then, yeah, we'll see what happens.
Where the hell are they? What? Okay, they're at the back. Didn't want to do that. Okay, let's start at the back. Let me charge up power. You always want to start a new phase with full power as well. And they're at the very back, basically, so. down it's like they knew what I was gonna do what the hell I don't know why I chose a blue bone power. I don't know where they are. Where are they? Okay, they're at the back. Okay! They're at the very back. Surely. I heard the slam. How are they there? They're at the back. Finally, what the hell? Now, I'm back.
God. I don't, th I don't, I, I seriously, I don't think I can do on medium mode. So, I will switch to easy mode, guys, because I seriously, for the love of me, I can't do, can't do medium. It just, it won't cooperate with me. So, sorry, guys. But, if you can do this on medium, then let me know what your strat was, because I, for the love of me, cannot do it at all. Also, on easy mode, you can spam blue bones a lot more efficiently, because, just look. <gasps> that was a mistake. <laughs> oh god, my heart. I don't know where they are. They're at the back! I just didn't hear the slam for some reason. Oh, they're at the very back. This is nice. I have no idea where they are, they're probably in the middle somewhere. Okay, they're at the back. There we go. Okay, I'm back. And we're at this part again on easy mode. And there we go. See? It's a big difference. Very big difference. Very big difference. Very big difference. And in the easy mode, you do get half XP, so you only get 250. But it's way easier, as you just saw there. That was literally the first try. Man. I guess cooldowns really do make a very... <laughs> cooldowns make a very big difference. And that's why when I do Frisk, when I do this, when I make the tutorial for Frisk, I think when I get to hard level 3, that's when I change the easy mode because it's like basically impossible. And also demonic because demonic is really hard without, with, um, you know, 
cooldowns to be very high. So, and around, like, if you did exactly what I did in this whole video, you should have 500 XP. So you can get yourself some easy gold for just doing the whole of sands. What well, doesn't take that long, even though it took like 40 minutes for me. It might take shorter for you because you might be an expert or something. I don't know. So, I hope this helped, guys. And, um, I'm very happy that I get to play Bone Tail again. Because I used to play it so much back then. I used to laugh, cry, just, just everything. Be mad. And seeing it again back, finally, after, like, as long as it feels like John P. Dash and Pigman 4. This is a big update. And those will rest in my heart forever. Version 1.6 will probably be the most biggest update ever. Unless for some reason there will be another very massive update. What I don't think will happen in another five years. So, if you like this video, smash like button. Hit that subscribe button. Actually, smash the subscribe button as much as you can. And I'll see you guys in the next Bone Tail video. See you later.